Hey, what's happening people? The Simba here, back again, representing the Black Food Club. So today I decided to review the Duchy, which is a Caribbean restaurant and cocktail bar located in Croydon, which is the south part of London. So this here is a Dutch pot, typically found in a Caribbean household, which is symbolic, I guess, with their logo, um, which suggests to me perhaps I'm gonna find food or cuisine, which is very traditional in, in flavor as opposed to fusion. Um, so let's see what I actually found. So before you even get into the restaurant, you have to go down this long corridor of the arcade. Now, the smell that was coming through that corridor, through that it was just beautiful. I could taste the aroma, I could taste the spices, I could taste some smell. I could smell the pimento in the air. Like it was just beautiful. Like it was, that's exactly the kind of smells you want to be smelling before you get into the restaurant. They say that you eat with your eyes, but if you smell it, you know what I mean? your, your nose will lead you to where the good food is. So to start off with the drink, so it was recommended to me to get the fruity rum punch. And lo and behold, to my surprise, not one. But we got two cocktails up in here. So yeah, this, this is about to be a perfect afternoon. Cheers. I got two. Uh, Cause it was buy one get one free at the time that I went. Um, I'm not gonna complain. It was a nice drink overall. Um, at first I was a little upset because I couldn't really taste any rum in there, but as I started to, to stir it, then the rum kicked in. Um, so obviously I had a, a concentrated swig of rum right at the end, but uh, so my suggestion to you, just yeah, give a little stir and then you'll be happy. Now let's get into the main course. So one of the first things that I noticed when I sat at the table is they didn't have one of their own original the Dutchy hot sauces. Of course they had sauces from other brands, but it would have been nice just to have their own hot sauce um, to see how that perhaps complemented the food. I don't think it's a requirement, but I thought it would have been a nice touch. So when I saw the Hellshire shrimp on the menu, I had to order that. I've been to Hellshire Beach over in Jamaica. They do fabulous, absolutely amazing fried fish. So when I saw the shrimp, I was expecting something delicious. So I'll be honest, the shrimp didn't really do it for me. The sauce was a bit stodgy. It, it kind of resembled like a thick, cold gravy. The shrimp didn't really have much spice to it. There wasn't a kick. Also the salad or, or the dressing on the side, I guess, it, it, it did nothing for me at all. So personally, I wouldn't recommend the Hellshire shrimp. So next I decided to order the boneless jerk chicken. I got that with some roti. So let me put this out there now. I know before I get hit up in the comments, I know this is not traditional perhaps to have like the roti and the jerk chicken. I was just mad feeling for some, some roti. I love me some roti and I wanted some jerk chicken as well. Um, perhaps I should have got it with maybe some rice and peas or, or another compliment, a compliment, Con condiment. Yeah, basically I should have got it with perhaps another side, but I went for the roti and I went for the jerk chicken. So let me start with the jerk chicken. As you can see, I'm there poking it, seeing if it was soft. And let me tell you, this jerk chicken was soft. It was succulent. It was moist. It was well seasoned. I'll be honest, for my particular palate, it may have been a touch too salty. So this was definitely good jerk chicken. It didn't have that charcoal barbecue taste that I think would have really been the icing on the cake. But it was still, overall, it was still definitely a good jerk chicken. So now we move on to the roti. What can I say? This roti was perfect. Absolutely perfect. A plus, perfect. It wasn't burnt, it wasn't dry. It was, as you can see the texture, like it, it, it tasted just right. Exactly how roti is meant to taste. 
So for dessert, I had the mango and passion fruit cheesecake. Now, the cheesecake was nice, don't get me wrong, but I couldn't really taste the mango. I could taste a hint of passion fruit, but I couldn't really taste the mango. Also, the menu suggested that perhaps it was gonna to be topped with passion fruit. Uh, mine came topped with strawberries. Um, again, like I liked it. It was, it was nice, but it wasn't what I was expecting or perhaps not what exactly I ordered. And it would have been nice if the, the fruit taste in there had been perhaps a bit stronger. Overall for ambience, I'm gonna give them three stars out of five. Um, I did love what they were doing with the, the, the core. I love what they're doing with like all the wood, with the lights, um, the benches, everything. It just kind of reminded me of like the, the beach or a beach hut or a house near the beach over in Jamaica. Definitely felt like a, a homely vibe and the place was bustling and it's always a good sign when you go to a restaurant and the place is busy, it means they must be doing something right. So yeah, definitely an ambience, give them a three. So on presentation, I'll be giving them three stars out of five. I definitely feel that the food looked good. Didn't really want to make me pull out my phone and start, you know, taking snaps or posting on Instagram, but definitely looked appealing. So on taste, I will be giving them three stars out of five. I feel that the roti was very, very, very good. Um, I did like the jerk chicken, but I felt that the Hellshire shrimp kind of let them down. Um, the rum cocktails were, were cool. They were good, but I think out of all of that, it was only the roti that was truly exceptional. So three stars out of five. So the total bill for the cocktails, the Hellshire shrimp, the roti, the boneless jerk chicken, the cheesecake, including service came up to 36 pounds 85. Overall, I think was a fair price and I think the portion sizes were fair as well. Hope you enjoyed today's review. Please let us know where you'd like us to review next. And don't forget with the Black Food Club, you're always invited. In the next episode, we review McDonald's take and a Caribbean inspired burger.